Hi there, and welcome to C3 Integrated Solutions Microsoft Office 365 Tutorials. I'm Beth Trimmer, and I'm here to teach you all about the calendar in Microsoft's Outlook Web Access, also known as OWA. Today I'll cover how to view your calendar, how to view appointment details, how to create a new appointment, how to invite attendees to appointments, and how to accept or decline an invitation. So let's get started. First, we need to get to the calendar. To do that, just click the Calendar button at the bottom of the navigation pane. OWA will typically default to a weekly view of your appointments, as you can see here, but there are other ways to view your calendar too, using the Calendar View buttons at the top of the screen. Here it is by day, by work week, again by the full week, and by month. We'll go back to the week view for now. In each view, a calendar in the top left of the screen highlights the dates you're viewing in orange and outlines today's date in an orange box. To jump to a new set of dates, just click the day, week, or month you want to view. To go back to today's calendar, click on that date in the mini calendar or just click the Go to Today button at the top of the screen. Now that you can get around your calendar, let's talk appointments. Although the calendar displays the basics of an appointment, such as the subject, location, and time, there's often plenty more information included. To view this information, double-click the appointment and an appointment window will pop up. Let's check out this appointment on October 2nd. If this appointment was sent to you by someone else, you'll be able to see who sent it, when and where the meeting will occur, and any other information the organizer included in the invitation. You'll also have the option of accepting, tentatively accepting, or declining the invitation if you haven't done so already. I'm going to go ahead and accept this invitation. If you open an appointment that you yourself created, you'll see much more information and you can edit it as well. Who is invited, where the meeting is being held, how long it will be, etc. You can even click on the tracking tab to see who has responded to your meeting invite. If you choose to make changes to an appointment, click Send Update when you're done so the other attendees will receive the new information. Or, if there are no other attendees, just click Save. Note that in Day View, you can also click on an appointment to view basic details in the Reading pane. To create a new appointment in any view, click the New button or just double-click on the day which you want to create your appointment. I'll create an appointment on October 2nd. A blank appointment window will pop up and you can fill out whatever details you'd like. I'm going to create an appointment for a weekly review meeting and invite one of my colleagues. Now, if I wasn't inviting anyone, I could just click Save and Close and save the appointment to my calendar directly. But I want to invite my colleague, so I'll click on the Scheduling Assistant tab first. Under the Select Attendees section, I'll type my colleague's name in the Add a Name box. Now I can see his availability in the scheduling part of the window. This doesn't give me any specific details about what he's doing, but it does let me know when he's free, busy, or out of the office. I can see that he's busy during the time I chose for my meeting, so I can scroll through and find a better time. Notice the mini calendar on the right. It color codes days based on the attendees' availability. So I can see that these days, Mondays and Fridays, in dark purple, aren't going to work because there's no time that both of us are free. Light purple days mean we have a few spots that are tentatively free, and white days are days that will definitely work because there's definitely time that we have free for this meeting. So I can click on different days and times until I find a time that works for both of us. And as I click them, notice that the time and date information on my calendar appointment changes automatically. Once I'm happy with the meeting time and date, I just click send and the invitation is on its way. When one of your attendees receives your invitation, he or she will see an email in their inbox. If they click the little calendar icon on the invite, 
they'll be able to see a view of their calendar so they can decide if they have time to attend. Once they've decided, they just click the big green check mark if they'll attend, the question mark if they're not sure, or the red X if they can't attend. You'll receive an email showing how they respond, and you can always check the tracking tab inside the appointment details later. Well, there you go. Everything you need to know about your calendar in Microsoft Outlook Web Access. Check out the next tutorial in our series, Context in Outlook Web Access, on our YouTube channel. Or, if you'd like more information about Microsoft Office 365 and C3 Integrated Solutions, check out the links below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.